This week's Tech Tip Tuesday is all about your email and when should you use the CC or the BCC options when sending an email. And then when should you reply all to an email that's been sent to you. When you're composing an email, you have the option to include additional addresses. Traditionally, if an address is listed on the line for two, that is um, meaning that you might have to take action with this email. But if your email appears on the CC line, you were included in the email as just a for you information type of thing. You may not have to act. The third one is a BCC, and that stands for blind carbon copy. Everyone is not aware of who this email is sent to. Now, when you go to compose an email, you may not have that option here on your list. So you go to options and you just select BCC. Now, it isn't a bad idea to, do, to use the BCC, especially if you're sending it to a large group, um, like a, a listserv group, a group of parents, or even a group of students, because then that way, if someone replies all accidentally to this email, everyone in the BCC will not receive a response. It is also good to have those addresses in the BCC because then everyone in that group does not have access to the other people's email address. So definitely if you send an email to a group of parents, you should use the BCC line. Let's take a moment and look at the online version of Outlook. And you'll, you see here, you've got the two and the CC, just like you do with the application. The difference is that BCC always appears as an option here in the upper right. So if you do want to do BCC, you just click and it's there. But then if I create a new email, the BCC is gone and I just have to click it here in the upper right hand corner. So you've received an email and that email was sent to your entire school and there's some instructions on there. Maybe you've got a reply with say the number of student desk in your classroom. If you hit the reply all button, then you will reply to everyone in your building with the number of desk or your communication back to the sender. This often happens to a great number of our users that use the online platform, and that's because it's defaulted to reply all. So if you are an online user of Outlook email, open your email and come to the settings options. Click on mail and scroll down to reply all. It is defaulted to reply all. So if you don't consciously change that drop down option from reply all to reply, every time you reply to an email, you're replying all. So come here and change your default to reply and click save. 